Hello, I'm going to show you how to modify the D5102 harness to uh, allow for illumination. Now what we need to do is find the blue wire here it's on uh, pin number 12 on my diagram on the wiki. Uh, it's this pin right here. It's the one in the group by itself. What we need to do is put a needle into the hole directly above it and kind of angle it downwards to remove the pin from the head. So again, into the hole above this pin, put your needle in and push upwards or downwards to um, to push on it and then pull the wire backwards away from the harness. Should show you right now. Do my best to get it on camera here. Somewhat awkward angle to work at right now. Take a little bit of working on it to get it out, but it will come out. Okay, so show you right now the pin is in there inside the hole, and the pin will just come straight out. And now we have this wire right here loose and now we are going to reposition it into pin or hole number four on my diagram now looking at the unit from the back this again is the car side harness we have our loose blue wire here we removed earlier and looking at the back of the harness here, next to the yellow wire, the first slot, small slot, at the top here. Again, so right next to the yellow wire, first small slot. You're going to push your pin into the hole, and it should lock in place. And if we look at this side, there should now be two pins in the bottom, smaller half here. As you can see, very poorly Again, this is very hard to film, but there is, in fact, two little pins in that hole. And one's on the left side, one's on the right side. One's on pin 11, one's on pin 4. And now we want to isolate the blue wire here. That's what we ran into that new pin on the Eonon side of the connector here. So that's this one, make sure you have the solid blue wire. Should be the second wire on this connector. And you'll want to get a good pair of cutters. These guys. And we are going to cut the wire pretty much anywhere along its run. Ideally, we want to keep it long, so we'll cut it right about here. We've now got separated wire here and our free end. And we're going to uh, shrink this piece of wire here so that it doesn't have a chance of being a problem. So we've got a piece of heat shrink tube here. And we're going to slide it under the wire. And ideally you'd want to use a heat gun for this one to use a brick because it's quick and easy. wire here. Heat it up quickly, don't leave it in one spot. And once it cools down it should be good solid uh, hardened piece here. And now we need to strip this particular wire here. So I'm going to get out my handy wire strippers. And we are going to strip off a little piece of the end here.
pair of automatic strippers here. And we'll pull off a portion of the wire. And our first connection method I'm going to show is a posi tap, which is the easiest way to connect this securely. Alright, so here we have a posi tap. I'm going to unscrew the bottom end. I'm going to unscrew the top end as well. The top end has a slit in it. What we're going to do is we're going to place the wire untwisted. Do not twist the braid end together into the posi tap end. Go on without the slit. Try to keep all the fragments together if you can. This is very much a two-handed job, so... Step on. And once the end is on, we're going to put the middle piece back on. So here we go. Middle piece. The end is inside the wire. Some of this is going to be blurry, but uh, you can make out what needs to be done. So the wire is pushed into the middle, and we're going to just twist it locked, twist it shut. So just give it a quick tug, make sure it's not loose, which it's not. And now we can see the needle end of the posi tap here. And we are going to find the night light wire here. Okay, and we are going to slide our posi tap, this half of the posi tap, over the night light wire so it fits into the slit in the middle. So let's see, it's now inside the posi tap, and we are going to screw it on. As you can see, it's now these two wires are now spliced together, and if we grab a multimeter, we can confirm that. So we're going to put our multimeter into continuity mode. Look at the probes here. If we touch them together, we should get a beep. We do. So what we're going to do now is we are going to just for my purposes, you may not want to do this because you'll have to uh, shrink wrap it again, but I'm going to cut off the end here of the net light wire so I can access the bare wires. Again, this is not a required step. You can test it by plugging it in, seeing what happens. I'm going to strip off a little piece of the end here. wire here and we connect our probe between our 
blue pin number four and our bare wire alright and now if we touch the inside pin here we should get a beep I do so that means we've got a solid connection Next I'll cover how to um, solder the wires. Now I'm using a uh, cordless soldering iron here. You can use um, whatever you want. Doesn't really matter as long as it's a soldering iron. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the portion of this wire up to the um, or past the shrink wrap they have on there. The shrink. We got most of our net light wire exposed, and we are going to take your wire stripper and strip put half an inch to an inch of insulation off the wire, and we are going to twist it in this case. We're going to take our blue wire here, and we're going to twist that as well. Get nice and tight. And we are going to slide a piece of heat shrink tubing on either side here. One or the other, just to, so it's on the wire. It has to be there before, because you can't get it on after. So the label's in the way on that one. We're going to use this other one. Just going to get it over everything and keep it out of the way for now. for the wire because it was the same wire I used in the posi tap. But nonetheless we've prevailed. And now what we're going to do is these two wire ends. We're going to twist them together. As you can see now, a somewhat secure connection between these two wires, but it's easily to or easy to untwist them. So we want to solidify that connection. So take our soldering iron and some silver solder. Any kind of solder actually will do. Heat up your iron. My electric iron takes about 5 to 10 seconds to heat up, or my cordless one does. Uh, some of them can take longer, some can take less time. Even like a cold heat will do in this case. Just touch the solder, the wire. Get the wire, touch the solder to it, melt onto the wire. Turn off your iron. Check and make sure your solder is applied throughout the joint and that it doesn't pull apart. And then tuck the joint together like so and slide your heat shrink over it. And with any luck it will fit. I may have went size too small here. I'll find out. it's going to make it over. Okay, so as you can see we've got the heat shrink tube. Again, we're going to use the BIC. You should really be using a uh, heat gun for this. It's 
put it evenly. Put the wire. I mean, actually, I should have used a slightly bigger heat shrink tube than this. As you can see, it's kind of bunched up at the end, but um, it is still going to protect the wire. It's not going to allow it to short out or anything. And once this cools down a bit, we should have a solid protected connection. And the illumination should work. And again, we could have tested with the multimeter before we put the heat shrink on confirm that our connections all were good. So, as you can see, it's solid. The heat shrink does not move. And uh, this side here is still stuck on. So our wire end will not short out. And we should be good to go. So again, we're moving the last pin from this harness here into the last pin closest to the yellow wire, the battery wire, and in the small section, the lower section of this harness, down here. And then we are removing the blue wire from the Enon side, and then connecting the illumination wire to the blue wire that we removed. So I hope this helped uh, some people out with uh, doing this repair job on your own harnesses, and um, Good luck, and if you need any help, feel free to uh, comment or um, contact me via the forum or via the wiki. Thank you.